Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It is finally tournament season. Uh, today is all about the pre-fish. So we're out here on Lake Garfield. Uh, never been on this lake before. Uh, I think it's about two miles long and about a mile wide. There are three lakes. There's a big section of the lake and then there's two smaller sections on the south end. So I'm actually going, heading over to the south end right now because the wind during the tournament is going to be blowing out of like south, southwest. So I think I'm going to be able to fish more efficiently down closer to the south end of the lake. So that's where we're heading right now. It's probably about a mile pedal. Um, I think it's probably going to take about 78 to 80 inches to be in the top three. So looking for some pretty good quality fish out here. Um, but I'm excited for the start of the new tournament season. Um, the tournament is only in two days. So today's conditions are going to be very similar to the way they're going to be um, in, on Saturday, which is in two days. So um, it should be a good day. I'm excited for the new tournament season. I appreciate you watching the video. Let's go fishing. I'm just currently looking around right now. This is a very shallow lake. Water depth right now is only two foot. And um, the temperature is 72 degrees. Down on the south end of the lake, it's supposed to be a little bit deeper. So I figured that the fish may be holding over there, but I'm gonna try a few spots over here, see if we can figure anything out. But we're definitely gonna head to the more southern end of the lake because I think those are where the deepest spots in the lake are. I don't really see any bait moving around right now, so I may just go ahead and start out with the speed worm. Again, main goals today is to eliminate some water and try to find two or three baits that these bass are going to be keying in on. Having just two or three baits in your hand throughout the day is going to just increase your odds of doing better as you have confidence that you're using the right thing and you're presenting the bait well into the right areas. Water over here is only a foot deep, so we're going to move on. We need to find deeper water. I'm seeing two little islands ahead of me, so that's about the only thing that's different out here. And it is um, a little bit deeper. On my side imaging, I'm seeing what looks like uh, random laydowns, so um, I may just have to kind of blind cast at some of these potential laydowns that are out here. Trying to throw this speed worm into this brush up here. And it's a little bit deeper. This is four foot right through here. There are three sections of this lake. Right now I'm kind of in the middle section. Where you launch is the biggest part of the lake. And then as you head south, you run into two smaller sections. I couldn't get anything to react on that brush pile, so we'll move on to this island over here. Try slowing it down quite a bit. Throw a wacky rig. There are bass out here. All right. Starting to wonder if there were any. Okay, well, that was on the island with a wacky rig. I think if I were to get five like this on tournament day, it'd be pretty good. Small keeper. Looks like something bit him. All right, let's just see real quick what he would go. 13 and a half. Well, that's the first clue on the wacky rig on wood. It's a dark bass. Thank you, buddy. I was already beginning to wonder if there were any bass out here. I didn't see any life or anything. But, 
13 and a half incher. I'll take that to start the day. Nothing else on the island. So I will definitely be coming back to that island during the tournament. That is one feature out here that is definitely different. Again, one of the main objectives today is to eliminate water so that in a couple days we can come out here, know what we're doing, know where we're going, and just be more efficient. So I'm going to head over here, see what this area looks like, and we'll see what we find out over here. Some random laydowns again. Just got bit. That's good. Got two bites on this little brush pile here. This area over here is a little over two and a half foot deep, where a lot of the lake is one foot deep. So this is, even though it's two foot deep, it's twice as deep as other places. So I'm hoping that we can find some bass over here on this side. All the areas that I have gotten bit have been over a, a foot deep. They've been at least, all my bites have came in at least two and a half foot of water. So I'm not even gonna fish an area if it's not at least two and a half foot deep and see if that makes any difference here. Currently heading over to the small lake. This is supposed to be where some of the deeper water is. Found some deeper water over here on this side of the lake. On the most southern end, this is the smallest body of water. I've seen enough back here on the small lake. I'm definitely some deeper water. Uh, if the bite gets tough, it, this might be where I go. There's some trees that kind of sit in four to five foot of water. So um, that's definitely something to keep in mind, but didn't catch anything back here. So I'm gonna get out of here and see if we can put something together here. actually got bit. Took about a thousand casts. I haven't gotten bit on any reaction baits today. It has just been the wacky rig and the drop shot. I don't know why everything is so shut off out here, but it is. They are not wanting to eat. So I've seen enough over here in the middle lake. So now we're gonna go on over to the big lake and see if there are any fish over here. It's a tough day. I really don't know why. I, uh, I'm getting bit intermittently on the drop shot and the wacky rig. Um, and I only had that one 13 and a half incher commit all the way. So still trying to figure them out, but this is why we pre-fish. Made it over to the large lake here, a little protected cove. Tell you what, these bass just aren't having it. I'm currently making my way across the lake. I'm about to wrap the trip up here. Um, I saw on my Navionics that there's a little um, corner over here that has a deeper hole. It's about three foot. I'm gonna come over here and check that out and then I'm gonna get out of here. Made it to the last stop of the day. This is actually pretty close to the boat ramp. The water depth over here is about three and a half foot. So we'll see if there's anything over here.
class cast. Alrighty everyone, trip is over. That was a really tough pre-fish. I don't know what these bass are doing. I know this lake is incredibly shallow. A deep spot out here is about three foot. So we covered a lot of water, probably about four or five miles. I found two spots that I think bass should be. I caught that one that was 13 and a half inches um, around that island, around the deeper water. So I'm going to be definitely spending some time over there and then where I just left. So uh, we'll see how we do. That's why you pre-fish to eliminate water, find a couple baits that you're gonna keep in your hand for most of the day. And that's what we did. So we'll see how we do tournament day. I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you at the tournament.